you in the video? Good afternoon. Good to be in the uh, in the second week. The installs uh, have increased. I think on both sides of the ball, we've got a lot of situations in right now. Not all of them, but uh, but I think it affected play today, and, and then hopefully as we as we tighten it up, getting closer to Saturday, you know, the play will get cleaner. Questions? Carl, you had mentioned that you wanted to do stuff with the quarterback, to kind of create a little separation. Did that happen today? It, it happened a little bit, you know. We're still trying to give everybody, or not, I shouldn't say everybody, we're still trying to give the guys uh, enough reps with the ones, you know. I think more so on the line than the receivers because the receivers end up being on a rotation. But today you saw Mike and Chris were with the ones and Gary and Blake uh, and Devin were with the twos. So I think that'll probably be the last time we do that. And then when we come out on Thursday, I think we'll have a little bit more of a, of a pecking order. But I don't necessarily think that we're, we're ready to say one, two, three, four. But I think as we, as we move through spring here, we're going to have to get closer to who's working with the ones because that's the only way you're going to build your rhythm on offense. Will some of that depend on that first scrimmage? Or is that not as revealing as? I think we're going to have to have a plan going into the, into the scrimmage to get as much information out of the play as we can. You know, I think right now you know, the, the numbers at receiver – are a little bit of an issue. I know Ruhan went down today during practice. We got to see what happens there, and even in the secondary, uh, and Anthony, we thought we would be able to go today, wasn't able to go. So, you know, we'll uh, we'll update the the injury list for you, but before Saturday. But the uh, the numbers are not allowing for the amount of reps we would like to have to really get the what I would think of a more complete evaluation. With the number issues, how much of an opportunity is it for the younger guys that are still healthy? Oh, I think it's a great opportunity. I thought a guy, I thought a guy like Desmond Peoples really took advantage of it today. You know, Justin is 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 good to go, but we didn't we didn't want to use him as much today. We was really presented an opportunity for Desmond, and I thought he made the most of it. I was excited about it, the screen he caught. And I was excited about the way he ran in middle drill, and and then in pass protection, he made a really nice block on a on a strong safety blitz that I thought was was good. It was I think the. I don't want to say it's the first time he's done it, but it was probably the best he, the, the, the best one that he's had. And I thought it jumped out of me. So I thought he really took advantage of his opportunity today. Okay. Okay. Right, what have you seen out of Janarian? Is he someone you want to get more involved on the offense? I do. I think Janarian's got, got all the skills to do what we want him to do at receiver, whether it's in the slot or outside because he runs so well. I think he's fighting the ball a little bit right now. I think the more he plays at receiver, the more he'll get used to the pace at which the ball is coming at him. Uh, because I, I think he's got good hands, but I think just right now, it, it's the the idea of putting it all together has maybe just slowed him up just a little bit, and you know that's not a surprise to me for a true freshman practice four. I think by practice eight, he'll be a, a different guy. Okay, with the Chaffee, Barnwell, Stephen Sid trio that played probably more than they were expected to last year, how do you is this where you start to see some of the benefits of that playing time, and how was their Spiky, I guess, off last year since they got targeted a little bit. No, we need to. We need to see the benefits of it. That's the reason. When you play a freshman, there's there's two things that happen. You're playing it out of necessity, but also it's an opportunity for those guys to, to get experience they normally wouldn't have. I think they're all confident athletes. I don't think that, that confidence will be an issue with any of those guys. To, to play corner in college, you need to have a very short-term memory because you're going to play against good players every week, and, and sometimes the offense is going to make plays. But the great corners are the ones who – who don't let one play become two or three or four. So I don't think confidence will be an issue. Uh, am, I, am I seeing the benefits of that experience? Well, I, I think a little bit. I think the, it's not just the playing in the games. It's, all, it's the opportunity to practice the defense you know, week in and week out that I really think gives those guys an advantage. Talk about Dorian, Dorian Miller's development since he's been here. I, I think like most young players, it's been inconsistent, although there were some flashes on Saturday. I, you got to see the film today. but. On Saturday, there were a couple of flashes in one-on-one -on -one pass rush, one on a, on a run play and 11-on-11 drills that were that looked like the guy we were we were hoping to get when we recruited him. So he's he's working hard. He's a great kid, but I think right now, like a lot of freshmen, he's just a little bit inconsistent. Uh, who stood out as leaders in the offseason and you know, into the spring? That's a good question. I think we've got a a bigger leadership group uh, than we've had in the past, and I think that they did an excellent job of of leading as a group. You know, guys like David Maluski, uh, a guy like Darius Hamilton, you know, they, they jump out immediately. You know, but there's other guys. A guy like Stephen Longo, I think, is an excellent leader, although not as vocal uh, maybe as those other two guys. You can, I think probably the best way to judge a leader is to watch, just watch the other people in the room when they speak. And when those guys speak, people listen. So I, I think that a guy like Michael Burton, you know, would be in that category. You know, when... Michael might not be the loudest guy all the time, but when Michael speaks, you can see the attentiveness of the people around him. Kyle, when you, uh, when you evaluate the quarterbacks, do you evaluate Gary differently because of his experience 
as opposed to the other three or four three that that have not played the game? Is there a different lens that you look at him compared to the other three? I think it's two questions that you're asking. I think the first one, the answer is yes. I think somebody who has the experience of playing in games for three years like Gary has, you would expect him to advance further. Uh, but I think it, that's why I think giving the other players an opportunity to work with the ones becomes part of the answer to that question because you do look at the other guys a little differently. Ultimately, the best quarterback plays. And does he have an advantage because of the experience he's had? Absolutely he does. But that's, that's for every, any quarterback who's played all around the country. You know, they have that advantage at this point. You know, what we're trying to do is make sure that we give the other guys the opportunity to play with the ones so we can really evaluate where we are now and where we think they can be at the end of spring and then ultimately by the time we play Washington State. Yeah, how, is the, how is the offense adjusting to Ralph as the OC and terminology and different from what, you know, what he wants to do? How are they doing? The terminology is slightly different. I think, um, I think they're getting used to his personality. I think that will be the, the, the greatest thing we'll gain this spring is, is those players understanding exactly what his expectation le level is in terms of effort, in terms of execution. I think that'll be that'll be really good as we go through the spring for them to get to know him, and I think Ralph is also as he runs the as he runs the offensive part of practice and watches what's going on out there. It's given him an opportunity to see how he wants to shape the offense because I think ultimately what we line up and do in the fall will be different than what we're doing this spring because he'll know more about the personnel. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.